What's good my DB fam? Shout out to my subscribers and also my DB fam. I'm back with another video. I'm really disgusted about even doing this video. Cause it's about my city again. My city. My city just I don't know, bro. It's it's like we got the crab in the bucket syndrome here. We can't be proud and salute another brother who's coming up. And who's doing it, who's coming up the right way, bro. Like, and you know what's messed up? Every time I think of this in my head, I think of that Tupac song. That change song. That changes. I think about that song every time. And it's like, Tupac was speaking the truth that still is going on now. He's speaking the truth. That that he he spoke years ago that's still raging through his song still that powerful but it's the uh, our, my my people bro I talked to Mad Beast about this shit Kareem about this shit I talked to a couple of coworkers yesterday about this shit and I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash from my sisters probably from my grandma probably I don't know if she gonna watch this video she probably not because it's gonna be some cussing in here because. And if this video ain't for you, then don't even watch it. But, or if you feel like I'm being, if you feel like I'm being against my people, don't watch it. But I stopped defending my people a long time ago with the, I didn't even defend that Black Lives Matter. And everybody, oh, oh whoa. Bro, and I'm going to tell you about that before I get deep in this video. The Black Lives Matter only matter to us is when other people attacking us. It don't matter the fact that we attacking each other and killing each other over bullshit. Them two guys, this is good. This is referring to the tailgate party, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't say that at the beginning. But this is referring to that tailgate shooting party after the Lions game. Two people shouldn't have lost their lives because one dude wanted to fight and the other dude like, I ain't gonna take no ass whooping. Uh-uh. That's what we did back then. We had an issue with somebody. They kept on poking the bear. We fought them. We fought them. Whoever won, yay. Congratulations. Whoever lost... Man, go hit the gym and work out again. If you you gonna see this guy again, work out again. You might want to come back and get your rematch. Cool. Now that ain't the case with rematches. Now, now it's like I got I ain't finna take no L. I'm finna blow this dude down real quick. I'm finna shoot him down real quick, like a dog in the street, cause I don't care. That that's what and, and look. The difference between living in Detroit and out here is completely different. And now here's why. So, because I know I'm about to get a lot of black backlash from the shit. When you hear murders about out here, if you ever hear, it's like breaking news. Shit, somebody finally got killed out here. But when they get, with the killers that be out here, if you ever look at them from, from the early 2000s on and now, you would notice that these case, these murder cases were, were fucking domestic disputes. Hear me out. Domestic disputes. You ain't never heard nobody get shot and killed out here at no bus station. You ain't heard nobody getting fucking like shot out robbed, shot out here at the store. You never heard that shit. <clears throat> and if you do, it's because us from the hood wanna come out here and hit licks. That's the only reason you would hear some shit like that. And that's because these motherfuckers ain't been out here in a minute or, at all and don't know no better. If you commit a crime, I live in Sterling Heights. If you commit a crime right here and you my skin color, you have to think of two things. Do I really want to do this and am I really going to get back home safe? And if you ain't got no car or you got a car and you driving crazy out here and the cops see that shit, mind you, the suburban cops are bored. Me and my, my girl picked me up from work. And we was driving through Madison Heights. Do you know Madison Heights was so bored, they took, it took five to six cops to come to a car crash. When have it ever been, bro, it'd be like two cop cars, a, a ambulance, and a fucking fire truck for a car crash. It was six to seven cops for a car crash, dog. But... They don't have nothing to do out here because ain't the crime ain't crazy out here. When if you man, it'd be breaking news. Somebody got robbed out here, huh? They got robbed in Sterling Heights, Clinton Township, Roseville, fucking Harrison Township, Troy, Birmingham, fucking Berkeley. They got robbed out here, huh? For real? For real? That'd be the breaking news. Like you don't never hear shit about 
People getting robbed out here. Why do you think people don't want to pump gas in Detroit? Why do you think people want to just, they rather, we rather spend them extra taxes on gas to pump it out here. Because that's mean we going to breathe easy out here. Look, my kind, my brothers, my sisters, y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better to be in these, these statistics out here, bro. Y'all do. Because this ain't it. Y'all, y'all listening to these young, stupid ass generation that don't know no better, and everybody gonna sit there and say, "Oh, you old, you old school, you old school, you damn right I'm old school." I had a militant grandfather, I had a militant mom. They ain't play that shit. My dad was on my ass half the time. They didn't play that shit. I had, I was raised by a village. I wasn't just raised by my parents. I was raised by a whole village. So excuse me, if my morals is a lot different from the majority of you motherfuckers. I, that's why I stay home. That's why I don't go nowhere. I stay my black ass here, and I don't I, I don't do it. I stay my black ass right here, and I tend to my family. I don't go nowhere. I don't do too much shit. I go to work, chill with my daughter, and I go home and spend time with my daughter. I spend time with my girl. I spend time with my family. I'm I'm out the way, cause this shit was stupid. Them two brothers didn't, should not have lost their lives because one nigga, wanted, he mad, he don't want to take the L. And he just, he in his feelings. And he just, and listen, that, that shit right there just cost this man his life too. He about to spend his, he about to spend his next lifetime till he die in a fucking pen. And I don't feel bad for him. I feel bad for them other two that lost their lives, that shouldn't have lost their lives. I'm sending my condolences to their family because they didn't deserve that shit. They probably got kids that'll never see their dad again. All because some man tripped because he couldn't take an L and he, I, I ain't for be my ass and he just shooting. That's why people, that's why, that's why I'm not defending my people. That's why I'm not defending no Black Lives Matter. I'm not defending that shit because Black Lives Matter only mean when the other race is attacking us. It don't mean shit about when we attacking each other. And that's bullshit. You should, you should still feel like that when we attacking each other over stupid shit. We can never be proud of each other for just, damn, you was in a fucked up situation. You was about to go broke. You was damn near homeless. You damn near lost your house. You got a better job. Now your house is secure. You, you pay all good. You're good. We can never do that. We just got to be, oh, uh, he got more than me. Uh, he ride around this car. Uh, we have to stop that shit, dog. It's stupid. We, that's why we that's why we get overlooked for a lot of shit. That's why we get overlooked for manager positions. That's why we get overlooked for other shit. That's why they do not want us running shit. Because when we get power, it go to our head. We think we the shit. We think we the president of the fucking United States and we're not. I'm sick of this shit, bro. I'm sick of this shit. Uh, that's why I stop watching the news. Because every time I watch the news, that shit is depressing. We have to grow up. We got to get, we got to think. We have to think. Pac said it best. That's why Nipsey did what he did when he, before he went out. Pac said, I'm going to spark the blame for the change. And that's what the fuck he meant. Because you see, you see, fucking Nipsey did the same thing. And Nipsey was a Pac fan. So he heard everything Pac said and he changed, he changed shit in L.A. He got Bloods, Crips, Hoovers, all them. They coming together, dog. They unifying, bro. They unifying. We, some shit we need to be doing. But we can't do it because our pride. Because we mad because he got more than us. And we mad because she got more than us. We mad because he doing this and better than himself. We mad because she doing this and better than herself. Stop. Stop that shit, man. That shit is stupid. And you see what happens. We die for nothing, dog. Them two men die for nothing. They die for some fucking words, bro. Some fucking words. It was a nigga, it's a co-worker that was clowning me from, from being old. Is he dead? No. Am I in jail? No. Because words don't bother me no damn more. If you ain't paying my bills, taking care of my household, taking care of me, why the fuck should I care what you say? Why? 
I was called old. You old big head. I was called everything under the sun. And I was laughing at this dude. He couldn't understand. He even asked me. I'm calling you old. I'm capping on you. Why are you laughing at me? I said, bro, I'm laughing at you because how old are you? He told me his age. I said, you'd be gladly to live this long. You'd be gladly to live to 40 and up. I told that motherfucker, I lost friends that was younger than me. I told him, I just watched to go see one of, my, one of my friends get buried. And he was only 31 when he died. I said, I got ranked on the school. I said, ain't nothing you saying to me that's going to hurt me. Because I done been through it. I used to fly. I used to be one of them stupid ass niggas to fly off the handle every time somebody disrespected me or anything like that. I was one of the main ones to fly off a handle. You know why I ain't flew off a handle in the years? I got a baby girl I got to look after. I got a family I got to take care of. I got me I got to take care of. I, got, I had some growing up to do. I had to grow up early. I didn't grow up later like half these cats grow up when they fucking in their 50s. I grew up early. I ain't had no choice. Shout out and rest in peace to my mom. Shout out, rest in peace to everybody I lost from my uncles to my grandfather to my brother. Which was my latest loss. They all taught me something. Mama taught me, mom, granddad, uncles taught me wisdom and taught me all the ways of life. Shout out to my brother. Y'all might know him as Big Real, Fat Boy Real. I know him as Chase Up and Real. And Fat Boy Real. Rest in peace to you, bro. I love y'all, y'all. I love you. You taught me how to laugh and smile even during the darkest times. Shout out to my aunts and grandmas here that's taking care of me. That's, that's teaching me every day that I need to just let little stuff go. And just keep pushing. So again... Write down in my, if y'all tired of Detroit and the city doing this shit and our people doing this shit, write down in my comments. I want them, I want this fucking comment session. Bloody. I don't give a fuck who come here. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm right. Whatever. We can, we can come in here to, we can agree to disagree. But I'm going to get up out of here because <clears throat> I'm very upset with this shit. It pissed me off. I don't understand why we just can't get along and can't just put our pride to the side for a minute. But I'm going to get up out of here. I ain't going to hold y'all up, man. It's your boy, D-Chase, man. Salute to your boy. Salute, peace and salute. And also, write down in my comments. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I do make great content. And please run them likes up. I'm going to get up out of here again. Peace and salute.